Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris in our Song of the Star series. So we had an eventful episode. Good Lord. Last episode, we had just a ton of stuff going on. Let's go ahead and build a... Build another mining station there and research station too. Actually, some of that money was for my colony ship that I was saving up for, so we're going to have to build that back up. Should happen pretty quickly, though. Powered exoskeletons are done. Very good. Let's go ahead and go for the second level mineral silo for extra production purposes. Now, speaking of extra production, no, I don't want to spend any money because I do want to save up. One of the first things I want to do this episode is establish a second colony. And then maybe even a third colony during the same episode because we've got a very nice system waiting for us. All right, so we're going to pay a visit to the pirate fleet. Looks like they might be on their way out. Yep, they are. Ironically, they're back in Eulasia. Let's try and catch him. Unfortunate. They are... Where are they? Damn. We should be able to see them. There they are. All right, so they're, they're trying to head back to near where I de defeated them previously. This is... Oh, we're on a freaking wild goose chase. you got to be kidding me. All right, at least they are not jumping around anymore. This is going to give us an opportunity to catch up to them. Yeah, I believe... All right, they're attacking our construction ship. Jerks. Get out! Leave, leave, leave. Can I give you an order to run? Or are they, they're going to kill my construction ship? Oh my god. Okay, good. It got away. Good, it got away. Hey, new version of this theme. Haven't heard this track yet. Die, pirates, die. I have been looking forward to this day. One of their ships is gone already. Two are gone. Three are gone, and bye bye Growth time is improved. Very good. All right, so... Ooh, lots of good choices here. Let's go ahead and go for removing mountain ranges, just so that we can have the maximum impact from our colonies. As far as where we can put citizens and such. And I'm going to build a second colony ship right now. Now, you need to heal up. So go get yourself repaired, buddy. You guys need to heal up too, and then you need to upgrade. So I sent that order. They will take care of that. Nalzarath is building a new colony ship. Also, looks like I can build a spaceport, uh, but I need the money for it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's it's. I was used to. I was expecting to have that be grayed out or redded out if if I didn't have the money. So I was looking at that, going, "Oh, look, I had the money," but I don't. <laughs> oh well. All right, so our ships are returning to port. We did, it looks like, lose a corvette in that battle, which is very frustrating. All right, I am going to go ahead and queue up this spaceport upgrade as well while we have the money. Need to continue improving on our infrastructure. All right, this construction ship should start repairing. Okay, looks like the... Uh, the main fleet got back first. And unfortunately, it's going to take a second for any of this to happen, I think. Oh no, they're healing. Alright, good. I was thinking it might have to wait on the construction queue, but not the case. This ship is healing as well. Very good. Alright, so as soon as that's back up to 50%, we need to build on some newly discovered stuff within our territory. Especially that. <laughs> Especially that. System survey complete. We have detected the presence of an alien civilization on Furtest in the Baham system. They appear to be in the early... Ooh, crap. In the early space age, as evidenced by the many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. That is right next to us. Their nation states are on the path towards joining together in a global government. It is likely only a matter of time before they venture beyond their world and join the galactic community. Wow. Okay, this 
I mentioned that we were going to be doing a lot of empire building early on and not necessarily running into other AI because the AI count was so low, but I also mentioned in the intro to the series that just because I set the AI count all the way down doesn't mean we're not going to run into many, many AI. And it turns out there's one right next to us that's about to pop up. So, holy crap. Um, all right, so that fleet's been fully repaired. That's right next... That's honestly... That's maddening. That's that's a little frustrating. So we're going to need to make sure we get Duranma colonized as soon as possible. That is right next to us. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, we don't quite have enough for the mining station yet, but we're getting there. Go ahead and enter orbit. We at least send the construction ship there. We can have it start building right away. Save some time that way. All right, so science officers leveled up. So she now has an expertise in field man manipulation. Nice. We are seconds away from being able to queue up this mining station. Let's go ahead and take care of that after the auto save is done. There we go. Colony ship is almost ready, and then we'll be able to do that spaceport upgrade as well, and then upgrade our fleet. I'm like really on edge now. We're, we, we're going to have um, a new civilization pop up not that far behind us either. It's right there next to us uh, in the Baham system, so we're going to have to subjugate them pretty quickly. They're, they're, they're too close. We have to destroy them. There's no alternative. All right, so our colony ship is ready to go. Let's see, there's this ocean world, which is where we're going to set down first. Let's colonize there. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to set down right there. Duranma Prime. Just a really good first slot. Food, minerals, but also minerals and food nearby to take care of the adjacency bonuses, especially once I can clear the toxic kelp, which I will be able to do. All right, now I need to go ahead and get another colony ship queued up as soon as possible. Also, I, I kind of just want to go ahead and build an observation post here. All right, good. He's going to be on his way to do that. There's a possibility we could integrate them into our empire before anything bad happens, but I don't I don't think we have time. We'd have to pull some serious alien covert operations to make that happen, and I just I don't think we have the time. I think they'll they'll emerge as an empire before that happens. Thankfully, they are in our space, so we can establish an observation post without having to build a frontier outpost, which is good. All right, so the spaceport upgrade is happening on Nalzaroth, which is nice. Construction complete. System survey complete. Okay, so that system survey is done. Go ahead and head towards these other probes. We're going to survey systems along the way. Hopefully not take too long. That's actually not a bad arid world, Ofang 2. We would have to eliminate this faction first as a concern before we colonized it. Uh, and we also need to raise the habitability threshold up to 40%. Right now it's at 25. Ships so upgrade. can't quite colonize it yet. All right, so that upgrade's done. We need to go ahead and build an additional Corvette. Hmm. Now, I also need to go ahead and build a spaceport here around Eulasia Prime, especially because our energy credits are getting low again. Looks like the observation post is about to go up over Furtest. So this is the world. Yeah, this is this is interesting. So this this is occupied by it's a desert world occupied occupied by the Zikmok civilization. Let's go ahead and open up contacts. So this is, oh, ooh, ooh, fungoid civilization. Nice and ugly. And then, of course, there's the uh, Crocs Raz civilization, which these are the ones that are in primitive feudalism. And where are they? They are here in Jindet in the Tau Seti system nearby. So we need to build a couple of observation posts, in fact. Let's go ahead and set that one up as well. 
Construction complete. Okay. Observation post is going online. It's already at 10%. Very good. Had the option of moving capitals if we wanted to. But Nalzaroth is a good world. I don't think that's necessary. Alright, so that colony is establishing itself. Let's have a look at the surface of this world here and see if there's anything else we need to build. Yeah, this pop is ready to have... Uh, I would say we need to have a mine set up for you. And then we're going to need food production here, so let's go ahead and set up a... Hydroponic farm. Construction complete. I think there are also some pop here that I haven't set anything up for yet. Yep, hydroponics farm. Hydroponics farm. Power plant here, but it's going to take a second. Oh, paused. I meant to unpause. There we go. Done. That pop is almost finished growing, so they'll start producing power, which is going to help keep the deficit from re-emerging. We're going to stay in the black as best we can. Need to build some more Corvettes, too. Okay, so the observation post is... Yeah, see, we don't really have the money to do a, co a covert infiltration, but we're going to try it. It's going to cost money to do it. Okay, we're going to research that anomaly. What's this? A class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small planetoid's orbit, orbit appears far too stable for his presence to be a natural occurrence. Interesting. Someone towed an asteroid into the orbit of that planet. I wonder who it could have been. Research completed. Very good. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and go for this. It's going to take a little bit longer to do. Oh, but there's also Teldar crystal mining. Hmm, this is a new strategic resource, and they work completely differently. Kinetic weapon damage. We don't have kinetic weapons, though, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and go for destroyers. And we're two months away from the power hub as well, which the power hub is going to be very helpful to have. Colony established. Very good. All right, so we have a colony officially on Dorama Prime. Let's go ahead and set you up for power production. Basic power plant here, because that already is a slot there. And it looks like our deficit has gone away, despite the fact that we are trying to aggressively convert <laughs> Furtist to a Voices world. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Yodburn. Yod Bem? Yeah, Yod Bem. Four, the massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Okay, cool. So that's going to give us a research bonus on that planet. Okay, we have a Jindet operation post set up as well. Cool! So just some... Um, primitive farms set up, because this is a feudal society here. We can now see the, the surface of this planet. Go ahead and build a mining station in Baham. And then I'm going to need you to build a research stations there. Oh, wow. Check out this system. Terraforming liquids here. That's handy. Research complete. Research completed. Good. We have access to the first power hub. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. we go for power plant two. We want that upgrade yesterday. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I mean, there's, there's just so many things. Especially with a uh, possible civilization about to pop up right next to us. We need to be as advanced as possible and not worry about early game energy deficits because we're still growing our empire. Construction complete. Okay. So this power plant has been built, but we're waiting for that pop to grow. That's fine. Let's see if anything else is going on that we can help with. Not just yet. What about on Nazaroth? 
Oh yeah, definitely here. Another alien proto-civilization. Neolithic. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and build a power hub on Nalzaroth. Absolutely. Because that's going to help with overall energy production on the homeworld, as well as help take advantage of that power slot. That'll help stave off the deficit as well. So where did you say... Hang on, let's look at contacts. Oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't count as a civilization yet, but on this planet... Yep, Stone Age Primitives on Conviab 2. Very cool. So there's actually a lot of life near us. I also have noticed there's a, we started in a cluster of really nice looking worlds considering the fact that Heinlein, you know, doesn't supposedly... I need to build a new science ship, don't I, to investigate that debris. Considering the fact that Heinlein doesn't really, or it reduced the number of habitable worlds, I actually am surprised at how well we've done for ourselves when it comes to the building of, um, what am I thinking of? Or the, the finding of colonies. All right, let's go ahead and queue up a science ship here. Need a new one. But yeah, there have just been so many nice planets nearby. Sorry, I lost track of my words for a second there, but... Yeah, we need this second science ship so we can uh, explore the system. Plus, we just need a second one anyway. We lost that first one, unfortunately. We needed to replace it, but we had pirates and just everything going wrong. <laughs> All right, speaking of that, let's go ahead and get a new leader in here. What do we have? Research speed from military theory. I'm going to just go for the youngest scientists here to make sure that they're around for the longest amount of time. Now you go here. And then survey that system, that system, and that system, please. Our initial infiltration cells have landed on Furtis, but they are having some difficulty establishing their new identities. There have been several incidents in which cell members were exposed as aliens, necessitating the immediate termination of all witnesses. This has brought unwanted attention from Zikmok authorities, requiring our, our operatives to lay low for a while. Unfortunately, this will result in a slight delay to this phase of the operation. That's annoying. We need this to go as smoothly as vocally possible. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to say it that way as smoothly as vocally possible. All right, this construction ship, uh, Ab Abaddon's Domain is actually not in our territory, even though it looks like it from a certain angle. Go ahead and build a mining station here. That's the mining station that we lost initially. So I'm just sending the construction ship back to replace that. System survey complete. All right, that survey has been, or that system has been surveyed. So now we're going to find out another one of the, we're going to find out what happened to another one of the probes in the Dokkan system. Speaking of just, okay, yeah, we don't have any other. We've surveyed four of the eight habitable worlds required for the habitable world survey. We've detected one of our missing sublight Situation probes. Updated. Very good. Research project and survey the system actually a really cool looking neutron star yes stars really do this this is not just science fiction neutron stars have these pillars of light emerging from either side really really cool representation of how they look and of course the new effects make it look even better all right so we're going to see what happened with that probe hopefully it's not in too bad shape how are things going over here this is our observation post the furthest observation post Two progress points per month, and right now we're at 16 of 100. That's... Ugh. It's too slow. I don't know that we're going to be able to infiltrate them and integrate them into the Empire. Speaking of infiltrating them, hang on. Not demographics. Policies and edicts. Slavery! 
is allowed. <laughs> oh, slavery procreation. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Let's take a look at our policies. War philosophy, unrestricted wars. Purging is allowed. So rather than enslave them, we could just purge them because we're fanatic collectivists so that we can we can just once we integrate them, we could kill them and we could just take their planet, which is incredibly vindictive, but we could do it. Um, orbital bombardment is we can't even go to full. Interesting. Because we're not militarist. OK, we just can't blow the crap out of planets too much because we're not militarist. Native interference. Uh, we are unrestricted, so we can study as much as we want. Speaking of that, don't we have an observation post here? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to aggressive observation here so that we get more society research gained from that observation post. Because our scientists are curious. What can I say? Love this track. Debris. You have analyzed the debris in Eshuk. All right, so we got some nice bonuses here. Still looks like there's one more debris to investigate. Fine by me. Almost time to build that new colony ship. We actually have a nice energy surplus uh, right now as well. We have plus six. All right, we can now clear mountains. What else can we research here? Let's go ahead and look into a level two hydroponics farm. Just basic food production would be handy. Now, if we go to Nalzaroth, we have recovered the sublight probe in the Dawkins system. The sensor telemetry it has collected over the years has provided us with a complete survey of all planetary bodies in the system. Construction complete. Pretty uneventful. Now, what can I build here? Corvette assembly yards? Let's not do that because I want to have my colony ship sooner than later. Pretty please. All right, I'm just going to have you hang out for a second. I need to find more habitable worlds nearby. There's just not that many options. I mean, there are some in my immediate space, but there are not more. So this science ship needs to keep investigating. And then this is the final probe system right here. So we're going to pay a visit to that system and see what's going on. What else is going on in the situation log? The habitable world survey is still halfway completed. And we're about halfway through our current stage of assimilating the Baham um, civilization. This, this pre-space age civilization that we found. A small cargo pod has been left to drift in space above this gas giant. It has been captured by this planet's gravity well and will eventually be pulled into the atmosphere. So just, let's just research it. 30%. Nothing's ever gone wrong with a 30% chance in this series. <laughs> okay, we can definitely build our colony ship now. Let's do that. Done. And also, I think we have enough to go ahead and build that research station too. Do it. Authorpod all herds navigate uh, Coria 1A's blasted surface with ease, with ease rather. Arthropodal, oh, gotcha. Arthropodal herds navigate, so they're arthropods. I'm just, I haven't seen that adjective before in my life. Interesting way to describe it. Makes sense. Just haven't seen the word. Let's see. This colony ship is being built. It's going to take another right now we are 56 points away so that's 28 months it's going to take another two years and some change 
A discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of Borbagon II long ago. It has somehow escaped the notice of other spacefarers, and its decaying orbit means it would have been lost in the gas giant's crushing atmosphere within another few years. Interesting. When the crew of the Lum Leo unsealed the pod, they found a stash of alien jewelry made of precious metals. So we're going to get some energy. Ooh, nice energy credit boost from that. And actually, on that note, we've hit the 25 minute mark, so I will go ahead and cut this episode here. And in the next one, we're going to finish building this colony ship, establish a colony in Duranma. Also, we do need to establish a colony in Saramore so we have some additional territory and then find another core system somewhere because we, we're going to have four once we've colonized Saramore, but we've got room for a fifth and I don't see any planets nearby. I mean, there are crappy planets. There's even a tomb world here in Coria, um, but nowhere other than that. So we're going to need to find a nice new world. Maybe we'll find one down here or up here. I mentioned early on that we are fairly close to access lanes to the other arms near us. So we're going to take advantage of those and try and find areas to more vastly expand our core empire before we have to start building, of course, um, new sectors because we've hit our um, directly controlled system limit. And then, of course, there's technologies later on we can research that will help us raise that number by one or maybe even two points in the late game. Uh, that'll help us have additional colonies within our core control. But anyway, I will save all of that for future episodes. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If you're not subbed already, I upload new episodes in Song of the Stars every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus 4 for those of you not in the States, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.